using a custom floating UI in Vectory is an excellent way to bring information, instructions, and engagement to your interactive 3D presentations while staying true to your brand guidelines. In this tutorial series, we will provide examples of impressive product showcases made in Vectory, as well as instructions on how to achieve similar results in your own projects. Let's start with a basic floating user interface that includes image, text, and button elements, which will redirect users to external websites. To begin, add the floating UI to the scene. Once added, it will be visible in the project menu. Once selected, you can add various elements like images, text, buttons, or variants to it. Begin by adding an image element to the floating UI. Click on the image and upload your desired image. While the image element is selected, you can adjust its size using two options, fixed to set a specific size or fill to automatically occupy available space without cropping. You can also set padding, where the first value represents left-right padding, and the second value is for top-bottom padding. By selecting Floating UI, the same setting in the Layout menu can be applied to the Floating UI itself. Now, let's add more elements to the floating UI. Add another image element and name it Logo. Upload your logo. To rearrange the elements in the floating UI, just drag and drop them in any order you prefer. Adjust the padding. Moving on to the next item on the list, the button. To add it to the floating UI, simply select it from the drop-down menu. The button text will be the text that appears on the button itself. You can adjust its size in the layout menu. If you want to change the color of the button, go to the fill menu and choose a different color from the default. To adjust the font color, simply navigate to the font menu and change it. To make the button functional, add interaction to it. Open the interact mode, create a new interaction, and rename it. Let's add an on-click trigger. You'll find three options, object, selection, and a floating UI. Select Floating UI and then choose Floating UI from the Parent drop-down menu. In the Target setting, you can choose a specific element from a Floating UI as a target. In our case, the button. Now, select Open Link from the Action drop-down menu and enter or paste the desired link. The Append Parameters option automatically adds the user's choice of materials and variants to the website link so the website can read what the user picked. It is very useful for online stores to remember what you choose, so they can send you the correct items based on your selections. Additionally, you can choose to open the link in a new tab or the current one. Lastly, you can add a delay if needed. Open the preview mode to test the interaction. Next, let's add text to the floating UI. Go back to the design mode and select the floating UI from the project menu. Now, add a text element. In the text window, write the text you would like to display. To change the font, navigate to the font settings and select a different option from the various available choices. Once you have done this, adjust the font weight and center align the text. 
You can also modify the font size and color to your liking. Let's modify the button padding and size to improve spacing between the elements. Now, let's change the position of the floating UI. First, click on the floating UI name in the properties menu. Then, select the desired position from the options listed in the position drop-down menu. As a bonus, you can save and reuse the same floating UI in other projects. To do this, return to the workspace and duplicate the project. To ensure only the floating UI remains in the project, open the duplicated project and delete all other objects. Remember to rename it for easy identification. The floating UI is now saved as an independent project. Next, go to the project where you wish to import the floating UI. Once there, import the floating UI using the workspaces feature. Done. You have successfully created a basic floating UI with various elements and interactive features. Enjoy exploring and customizing your UI to suit your needs. Thanks for watching.